assalamu alaikum today we are here with another video in which we are going to analyze the da analysis which is data efficiency analysis using deep software here i have a data of uh, bank efficiency for three banks uh, for um, processing into deep software we need to convert this data into a text file firstly i'll introduce this data uh, this data comprises three banks for the period of from 2015 to 2021 which uh, comprises 7 years right there so uh, we need to transform this data into text file uh, you can see here that we have five input variables and three output variables to process this data in deep we need to remove the headings the variable names and we need to keep in mind that we have number of periods for seven periods and number of companies are three so we need to delete the headings and years everything i am deleting it and save it as file text tab delimited file Okay now the data have been converted Let's move on to the text file Here you can see that the data is a little scattered and the commas can be seen We need to correct the, this as well Go to edit Go to replace Mention the inverted commas and uh, in the replace with section you need to uh, you not need to add anything over here and replace all and you can see here all the commas have been removed and data have been sorted uh, if there are some data that is not in the line you can just uh, adjust it manually rest all data is in structure form now go to file go to save as and go to deep software you can find deep software online anywhere and you can easily download it as well so we need to replace this eg1 dta file with our new data with this data which we converted now save it and we need to replace this right so i have replaced it and let's go to the deep software here in this deep software i have converted this data now you can see that this eg1-dta is the data which we converted now we need to add the instructions in it we have number of forms 3 we have three number of forms the time period are 7 as i have mentioned earlier we have number of outputs which are 3 and number of inputs that are 5 and uh, you don't need to add anything for these two if you want then you can uh, change according to your methodology i am uh, not replacing it with any other number and we are uh, performing the malkuzet da analysis now i have added all the instructions to this command right and save it go to file and save it now close this file go to deep application here you need to mention eg1 -ins.txt this is the file in which we have mentioned the instructions of our data right press enter and in this eg1 dash out now you can see the results of the data which we processed here you can see the uh, uh, year wise analysis for year 1 year 2 year 3 4 5 6 7 now you, you have seen the year wise analysis as well and for total factor productivity analysis as well here you can see that it started with year 2 not with year 1 the reason is it uh, it have taken the data of year 1 as the base data so you will not find the data for year 1 Uh, in case if you need the data from let's say 2015 you need to start collecting data from 2014 onwards where till uh, 2023 to 2022 wherever you want to uh, collect your data right so year wise analysis for productivity analysis as well or we have the 
index summary annual means as well. Mostly the researcher use this table to analyze their data. However, uh, it upon the researcher choice to choose whatever methodology they want to use it. So um, here this video provides you with the data efficiency analysis using deep software. And you can see that it is very easy software to use and uh, uh, you can easily process DA analysis in this uh, software. So this is it. Thank you so much.